Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And this is a continuation of learning form arrays in reactive forms. Today's uh, episode, we are going to learn about how to add dynamic rows to our form arrays. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience on various technologies on modern web applications, and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. I'm also here to learn from you uh, so please, if during the course of this tutorial series, during the code examples, if you face any query, any issues, just ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. You can notice that I'm putting in a lot of hard work, so I will really appreciate if you can support me and encourage me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. There are close to now 50 tutorials uh, in the playlist, Angular 9 full tutorial playlist. Uh, and the, the link is in the description box below. If you really want to learn and master Angular 9, this is the playlist for you. So make sure you have seen it completely to learn and master Angular. All right, so we are coming towards the fag end of learning ang Angular forms. Uh, we have covered a lot of tutorials on Angular forms, including template driven forms, reactive forms. This episode uh, will cover how to add dynamic rows to forms, form array. Uh, also, to let you know, it's a connected pieces, right? So if you really want to master this episode, you also have to see tutorial 51 and 52, where we start learning about form arrays. We have seen nested form array. So it will really help you if you continue the series in a go. So before you learn this tutorial, please, requ I request you to learn tutorial 51 and 52. Uh, the link, uh, the playlist is in the description box below. So please do check them out. All right, so adding rows dynamically. So there are use cases where we will need to, we don't know how many uh, rows or fields we can expect from user. The user can exp, uh, can enter one, one row, can enter 10 rows. It's up to the user. That's what we call it as dynamically adding rows to the form. And this is a little complex piece because you don't know how the user behavior, which fields will be entered, what kind of validation. So that makes it a little complex. Now, adding rows is nothing but simply we can say that we have a form array and we are adding new elements to the form, right, to the array. So it's you can relate it simply with an array in any language that you have worked with. So you have an array, you push a new element, it gets added to the array. As simple as that. The only trick or rather change here is that whenever we try and insert a form array, it has to be returned as a form array. and you group things together if you have a complex fields right so that's what we call it as form group that's what we covered in previous episodes so let's continue from there and before i do that let me give you an example of what a complex uh, form may look like in real time so if you look at one of these example sample that i'm building for you um, so you have this uh, items right so now you click on it, it gets added. You click on it again, it gets added. Click on it, click on it, click on it. So you see the user can enter either one or he can enter 10 or 20, depending upon how many row items he wants to add. There is no limit to it. That makes it a little complex because it's no more a simple static form. It's a full-fledged dynamic form and this uses form array. So we'll learn something like that in today's episode. Let's do that. So for that, let's go to our component. Uh, so in the last episode, we had written the reset. So I'm going to remove that. All right. So the first thing, um, let's add a button and say add new, right? So I'm going to add a new button here and I'm going to call it add new item. Let's say add row. First in the template, right? So we added a new method. A button and associated a method called add new item now in the array what we'll do we'll implement this we'll say whenever there is a whenever user clicks on this new item should be added to what that's the question whenever user clicks on add new row new item a new element new element should be inserted into the form array 
right our form array that we are working is items right this one so if you see we have items in our this is our form and we have our items so i'm going to remove this here let it be there for your reference uh, so we have items it takes a form group right as an into a array element so let's take this and we will add a new so what we'll do is before we do that first we need to get all the items uh, returned as form array right so we'll implement a get method and i'll say return me all the items initially and i'll say return this dot this is important because we need to get the latest items that we want to work with that's why it's important to get it as an array so we'll say get items right as form array so whenever we call this method it will return us the entire current items as a form array and this array we can use then we can then use it like a regular array and we can do push pop split you know find all anything and everything that you can do with arrays since array is an array we can apply all array methods that we know of in any language in this particular i'll stick to js right so that being said so first now what we'll do is um, we'll have to get this items right so for that we will what we'll do we will use um, we can assign it right so instead we'll say let's copy this object here let's copy the object so this is just like i'm putting in a value so and this remember that whenever you try and remember you look at your form okay we have to look at our form and say we can say that this is a form group right you can see here it's a form group so first we have to create a form group and then insert it so for that what i'm going to do just going to say um say const new item so do we want the new item to be blank okay let's make it blank okay item id we can take um so we can say this dot items dot length right uh here i'll say item length equal to and here we are going to say item length plus one okay and it's going to be blank and we are done with our creating of a new element and it's now ready to go into the items array so we'll say item dot push we'll say new item simple so we have a new method we are saying add new item and get the length and then create a new group assign the new item id and then item name description done and push it to the array let's see that in action so we have add row so now you see one and it's now two add one more it becomes three add one more it becomes four one more it becomes five six and so on and so forth just like how we saw it here right we keep on adding it keeps on adding so this is this is how we can dine. let me show you again one last time and then so you click on add it gets added to the array list right and similar way think of it how you can remove it that's what i'm going to show it to you in the next episode where we will learn how to remove these elements from the form array and you guessed it right it's an array so you can use dot remove method but we'll see that in the next episode stay tuned for that i hope if you like this video give a thumbs up to the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please do share these videos with your friends who want to learn angular playlist thank you so much